This is a Fox News alert. Overnight, the government shut down for the first time, partially in 17 years, unable to come to a deal over Obamacare. That's right. House Republicans now asking the Senate to come to the table and cut a deal. But will the Senate budge? Congresswoman uh, Marsha Blackburn has been at the nerve center of this negotiation. Uh, the Republican out of Tennessee is here to weigh in. Congresswoman, I know how you're against Obamacare, and I know you're fervently and determined to get rid of it. But having said that, have you seen anything encouraging on that path over the last week, especially the last few hours? Well, I've got to tell you, Brian, we thought certainly they would take the amendment we offered them last night to do away with the special perks and privilege for Congress, to do mm -hmm. away with that subsidy, and they even said no to that. And they continue to say no negotiation. The president says no negotiation. They wanted a government shutdown. They feel it gives them a political advantage. They're dug into their position, and we continue to say, will you please work with us? So, because the American people didn't want to shut down. They don't want Obamacare. They're staring both in the face today, and we're asking them again, will you join us at the negotiation table and work this out? October 17th is, is the new date that's kind of hanging right. over everyone's head. So what's, what's the POA moving forward? Um, what, what is going to happen from now until then, starting today? You're exactly right, Elizabeth, and that is where the focus turns for the debt ceiling. And we're looking at that and beginning to work toward what would it take for us to get them to the negotiation table on the debt ceiling. This is traditionally how we have achieved big reforms in this country, is wrapping it around a debt ceiling. You've had President Reagan, President Clinton, President Bush, they have all done that and worked with a, in a bipartisan manner. We are so disappointed that this president continues to say no negotiation on the debt ceiling. That would be something that is a true turn of events. We know that his preference is for a government shutdown. He wants more control. He wants to change the way and transform the way this country works. But we're determined on behalf of our constituents to do our duty and to work this out. Sure. And the president said last week that, you know, any, any negotiation over the debt ceiling would be unprecedented, which promptly earned him four Pinocchios by the Washington Post. Uh, speaking You're of right. the Washington Post, today, uh, Congressman, uh, they say that privately senior Republicans predict the closure is going to last a week, and Democrats say if it lasts past the weekend, then it, they're going to roll it all into the debt ceiling. Is that kind of where we're going here? You know, I, I think that you may see uh, a partial shutdown for several days. But, Steve, people are probably going to realize they can live with a lot less government than what they thought they needed. It's like the sequester and, all over. Unless you're one of the thousands have been told to stay home and that's who live paid to check, paycheck to paycheck. But, Congresswoman, right. in, the big, in the big picture, uh, did you, would you have gone about it this way? It seems as though that the, the you know, uh, tidal wave of interest is on the lockdown and not enough about the implementation of Obamacare, which by all indications was going to be a train wreck. Well, that is very true, and we will see how Obamacare opens this morning. We tried last night to be certain that the president and his staff had the opportunity to be included in the exchanges. I think people have found it very interesting that those that enforce Obamacare, those that wrote Obamacare, are not a part of Obamacare. And this president and first lady should have wanted to be the first two to sign up for Obamacare. We tried to give them that opportunity, and, of course, the Senate didn't want to do that. Okay. Well, it's going to be another day of uh, finger pointing up on Capitol Hill as the uh, government is uh, partially shut down. Uh, Congressman Marsha Blackburn from the great state of Tennessee, thank yeah, you very absolutely. much.